Fighting a civil war, being exiled from his homeland, suffering the death of his father, and becoming the king of England, Scotland, and Ireland are all events experienced by King Charles II by the age of 19. Legally, Charles II inherited England, Ireland, and Scotland upon his father's beheading in 1649. Scottish Parliament, who held Charles as heir, refused Charles's return without his signature on the Solemn League and Covenant, which required England, Wales, and Ireland to submit to Presbyterianism. Charles rejected this request and called upon the Marquis of Montrose to help take Scotland by force. This attempt failed in the Battle of Carbsdale, which led to the execution of Montrose, as Charles II denied being any part of Montrose's actions. With no other options, Charles signed the Covenant, Cromwell retaliated with invasions into southern Scotland, taking over most of the land. In 1651, Charles II led the Scots past Cromwell's forces into England, hoping the Royalists would jump to his aid. When this did not happen, Charles went into hiding, relieving himself of this so-called Scottish imprisonment. Charles II is said to have had one of the most self-indulgent courts in English history. Flirtation, seduction, and infidelities were littered throughout his romantic life. Most people think of Charles II as the Merry Monarch, at the epicenter of a court regaled for its joviality, overindulgence, and enamored entanglements. Charles, in fact, had many mistresses in both France and England. Charles likewise had liaisons with many actresses, as well as one in particular, Moll Davis, who was given a house, a pension of a thousand pounds a year, and an expensive ring. During Charles II's reign, the Great Plague hit London in 1665, with death tolls nearing 100,000. Charles, his family, and court fled London hoping to escape the plague. The following year was met with more disaster. When a bakery caught fire on Pudding Lane, eastern winds fanned the flames into a firestorm. The Great Fire of London raged for four days, leaving 13,200 houses and 87 parish churches consumed. Charles II has been regarded as a patron of the freedom of religion, likely due to the religiously divided era into which he was born. Raised in exile by his Catholic mother, Charles publicly allied himself with Presbyterians in 1649 when the Scottish Parliament, hoping to give power to Presbyterians, entangled Charles II in his first religious dilemma by forcing him to sign the Solemn League and Covenant. Later, as King of Great Britain, France, and Ireland, Charles issued the Royal Declaration of Indulgence, which suspended punishment upon Catholics, likely due to his aim of balancing power between Catholics and Protestants. His political struggle with religion continued until his death, at which point he was said to have taken his last rites with Father John Huddleston, a Catholic priest. Whether Protestant or Catholic, King Charles II clearly held his faith private and dear, rather than a weapon of public power.